हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर फीलिंग वेल प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बैंड ऑन द फ्लोट विल कीप इट एट वन टू वन विद द अमेरिकन डॉलर बट वन दे लिफ्ट दीज बैंड द इराकी दिन आर विल फ्लोट faster and it will gain more than uh, one to one with the usd and all the other currency in the basket based on my research and a couple of co- conversion that they are throwing around dates from the 9th to the 31st they are doing this on purpose they do not want any more anyone to know the exact date for security reason personally i think it should be on the sooner side than the later side of it iraq is beginning to create the conditions to launch a float of the iraqi dinar large central bank reserves creating a private sector economy all the all our conditions and requirements for the success of floating one especially talked about the central bank's reserves and how they won't be needed to add such a high amount a year or so from now that's clear indication that they are not planning to do anything monetary policy wise with the dinar for at least another year <clears throat> i don't expect a float until 2024 at least The Central Bank of Iraq announced on Sunday the start of selling the dinar to the ministries due to the launch of the electronic platform for external transfers at the beginning of the current year the Central Bank of Iraq welcomes your request to finance your obligations transactions and contracts abroad in foreign currency and at the official rate and he called on the bank to send requests to the bank that open the account of the ministries with them to take the necessary measures according to the approved contracts the central bank of iraq decided to include banks that are allowed to participate in the electronic platform and wishing to participate in selling cash dollars for the purpose of travel treatment and study the central bank of iraq confirmed in a statement received by shafa news agency the expansion of the number of outlets selling foreign currency in bank branches in baghdad under the direct supervision of the inspection team of this bank the central bank of iraq indicated according to its statement that it had earlier expanded the number of the of bank outlets for selling foreign currency from 10 to 20 bank after the success achieved by its initiative to enhance the stability of the currency market the investment committee in the house of representative confirmed on sunday that fear of iraq monetary policy pushes citizens to store money in their homes committee member mohammad azadi said in an interview seen by information that his committee is working on how to develop the banking sector in order to support the private sector through dealing in granting advances loans profits and interests stressing the need to adopt a policy of currency circulation aljadi added there are many issues that must be discussed with those in charge of the central bank or those res- responsible for the financial sector in order to limit the storage of money in the coffers of citizens homes because of their fear of the current country monetary policy on sunday the representative of the al fateh alliance mohammad al baladwi revealed the mechanism that will be followed in order to determine 
the share of the kurdistan region from the general budget was stressing that there are dues that must be adhered to by the region before fixing their percentage in the budget al baldavi said in an interview with al maluma that the new government will not deprive the central and southern governorate of their shares in their in the general budget and give them to any party without their entitlement nothing that the government will follow the population census percentage mechanism in determining the region's shares he added it was agreed that the population census in the main determinant of the share that will be placed in the 2023 budget nothing that the new government works according to the principle of social justice among all components he continued the suggestion of raising the region share in the general budget are untrue and the population census mechanism is the decisive factor in the matter pointing out that there are dues that must be adhered to by the region before fixing their percentage of general budget a member of parliamentary integrity committee ali turki had confirmed earlier to al maluma that the percentage of kurdish component of the budget is still 12% while he indicated the percentage that the region takes now has been estimated through the population census and will not be modified unless a census is conducted a second in the coming year thanks for watching please like and share this video and subscribe my youtube channel